Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Body Shop. I am your host, Bricks. My in studio co host is Mr. Brian Canone. The Bricks. Yes, sir. What's up? Yeah, man. Listen, we got a big guy on the phone. We got a your... huge guy on the phone. <laughs> we got a huge guy on the phone. And my, I'm not talking huge in stature. Well, especially I'm not for you. This huge is like a height. night for you because, you know, we got these bodybuilders, yeah. fitness model girls right. on. This is a guy that you could probably be hanging around with. Yeah. Because this guy understands. You'd be in the gym in the corner with him, uh-huh. with the bench, yeah, <laughs> yeah, with the deadlifts. Talk to me with the squats. Yes, <laughs> yes. This is why. Okay, this this core lifts mm. in any any uh, uh, athletic field that you go into. Right. You got the bench. You got the squat. You got the deadlift. Those are your three core lifts. Everything else is built around that. Period. Clean and jerk, hang this, mm. this and that, fitness balls. It, it's great now. You know the other thing, though, that Fred said earlier in the show was that. Whoa, 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 listen, right, listen, 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 listen. Let's bring Fred back into the show. Okay? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the body shop, Fred Dr. Squat Hatfield. Fred, you there with me? I'm here, baby. All right. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. Now. Let me just give you uh, uh, a little recap. No, not even a recap because it's too much to recap because it's too <laughs> much to go on with what you know, you know uh, Mr. Fred Hatfield has has done. Listen, one of the most important things mm. before we went to break, I was saying this. One of the most important things I feel that that Fred has created, even though he's had his hands in a lot of fitness stuff yeah. and actually created a lot of fitness stuff. One of them being sports fitness magazines. You guys know it now is men's fitness okay but one of the most important things i feel that he's created is the issa certification Mm -hmm. okay you have a lot of makeshift certifications coming out now like as of right now there only stands two major ones you got issa and then you got nasm everybody's coming out now you you need to be there's other ones too there's plenty of others but they uh, don't um, count they don't count because me and my producer, Big Sean, was talking about, give me your credit card, and in 20 minutes, I can make you a personal <laughs> trainer. And that's what it is. Everybody's a personal yeah. trainer now. You know, Everybody that lifts weights, I'm a personal trainer. Every so-called bodybuilder is a personal trainer. But mm. Dr. Fred Hatfield has actually put the time, the effort, the research yeah. into creating the ISSA certification course. So, Fred, if you can please talk to us about, you know, what was the what made you do that yeah. what made you just sit down and say you know what what I was your motivation be for certified it? Uh, well you know my uh, a buddy of mine and i were sitting watching te- television one night out in california i was editor of sports fitness magazine mm-hmm. uh for the weeder organization okay and uh, this guy was the uh, the chief physician for the uh, 1984 olympic olympic team right. uh, very, a very famous chiropractor by the name of dr sal aria and uh he, he uh, traveled around the, the world with me actually you know he was a power lifter himself and um, and he was, in fact, Connecticut, not Connecticut, the California state champion in the in the uh, 275 pound division. So he was a pretty good lifter himself, and uh, he kind of took care of me. He could, took me under his wing, as it were, and mm-hmm. and um, and uh, helped me with uh, with uh, getting ready for competitions and so forth. And he ended up being the uh, the chief. Uh, uh, physician for the uh, U.S. powerlifting team as well. Mm-hmm. Long story short, some guy was on TV talking about how he was training one of the Hollywood celebrities mm-hmm. uh, to lose some fat or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But he got everything wrong and he was doing so many things to this poor woman that was about to kill her right. or <laughs> maim her or something. <laughs> No, and he didn't know anything at all about nutrition, didn't know anything at all about the science of uh, progressive resistance training or anything at all. Mm-hmm. And um, Sal and I got to talking about it, and uh, and we came up with the idea of, you know, let's 
let's get into the education business and educate some people and and uh, give them certifications right with my doctorate and with his doctorate we were we were eligible to do such a thing we actually had the credentials to pull that off so we did it i i worked for a year pulling together uh, curriculum Sal worked for a year pulling together marketing stuff and and uh, everything that he knew about uh, about uh, you know medical mm-hmm. stuff and uh, we put out our, our book and and uh, I got a, 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 a close friend of mine to uh, get on a telephone and answer calls as it happened because I was editor of a magazine I was very fortunate to have advertising space in that magazine right mm-hmm. And uh, so we had a new business. We were the first organization ever to educate and certify personal fitness trainers. Mm. We started the business of personal fitness training. Right. Uh, after, after we did that, of course, there was a whole spate of yeah. uh, certification agencies by uh, uh, self-professed experts and so forth. Mm-hmm. That's another whole story. I won't even bother getting into <laughs> No, I will. I will. <laughs> uh, okay. Not to cut you off, but Go ahead. for those of you who does not know what the, the ISSA certification is. It's the International Sports Science Association. And the other major one is NASM, you know, national. There's NASM, there's ACE, there's um, there's AFA, there's uh, ACSM, there's, right. you know, I mean, the list goes on. But, but that's exactly what he's saying. The mm-hmm. list goes on and on, but everybody has basically taken from what Dr. Squat Now, you given. said that you actually went through the certification, I, didn't you? I am ISSA certified. <laughs> All right. You know, like, I heard that this book is course. Yeah. I like the course because Brian, you've heard me explain exercise to a lot of people. Yeah. You've heard me explain uh, hand positioning. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to train people differently based on their body shape, their body types, because as uh, Fred mentioned, you know, his elbows are bent, so he can yeah. never do a complete lockout. So some of his lifts didn't count. You know, mm-hmm. you have some people whose forearms are pronounced and some people who are bow legged and stuff like that so no cookie cutter way of training is actually going to work for them and Mm -hmm. the ISSA certification course taught me how to identify weak spots and strong spots on people and how to you know fully bring them up with functional training Mm -hmm. that's why I like the ISSA certification course now with all these new ones that are popping up and I'm not going to trash them okay they're good for what they are but a lot of them they don't teach the, the knowledge of why you need this what they teach you is okay take my course 48 hours later you can become a personal trainer go into a gym and start making money but you well, know, I have a question about that though in general what's that oh, I mean you know Fred you went and you received your doctorate mm-hmm. and what do you think the difference would be with somebody only needing a certification course to be a trainer instead of going through college to have that kind of uh, credibility to go and train people? It's a good question and I'm going to answer it for you. Mm -hmm. What does a college education do for a person? It, it, it gives them a broad base of education where they they, they have knowledge of uh, everything from reading and writing and arithmetic to uh, mm-hmm. geography and history and, and art. Right. And that's a wonderful thing. And I, I believe in a, in a uh, liberal arts education. And I believe that it's an important thing for any thinking human being to engage in. Uh, you, you can't just bury yourself in a hole uh, with a with a, a, a set of dumbbells and barbells and expect that you're going to come out an expert on lifting. It just doesn't work that way. You have to have a broad-based education. So, therefore, mm-hmm. ISSA became the only certifying body in the world uh, not uh, not five years ago uh, that offers a, a uh, an associate's degree program in personal fitness training. We are an accredited institution now, and we're the only ones that can say that. Mm-hmm. 